welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shelby. I do different tech videos, photography videos, lifestyle, all that kind of stuff. We're doing the intro today on a vlog camera because I kept having technical difficulties. So we're going over the top Instagram or just photography spots in downtown Los Angeles. Downtown LA has some really cool stuff and it's all really close to each other. So you can hit like five or six spots in a day. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and follow me on Instagram at Shelby Church or at Snapshots by Shelby. That's my photography account if you're into photography kind of videos. And let's get into the location. So the first location is the Broad Museum exterior. There's a knock at your door. This is just sort of a modern art museum in downtown LA and the exterior of the building has this really cool texture to it. So you can use this texture as a background for your photos. If you go on Instagram, you'll see like so many people have done this and it looks really cool. It's also near a lot of different tall buildings so you can get those in the background too. And then right across the street from the Broad Museum is the Walt Disney Concert Hall. It just looks like steel that's curved in different ways that looks awesome in photos. If you go up a level, there's this garden and you can go in between layers of the metal. And it makes these really cool reflections and just gives you a texture that is hard to find elsewhere. Uh, the only thing is it does close at night. So after like 7 p.m. I believe, they lock the gates. So, and I learned that the hard way. The next one is Grand Central Market. So this is like LA's version of the Chelsea Market. It's basically just a big food hall with different vendors, but it is really cool for photography because it has so many neon signs and they just look really cool in the background. And there's also a lot of natural light kind of streaming in. So the lighting is still pretty good. You can do a lot with the neon signs. You can reflect them. You can bring a little prism. Neon signs always make for cool photos, I think. To show me And then across the street from Grand Central Market is Angel's Flight. So this is just a really old train car system. It's kind of a novelty now. People just go on it for fun. Back in the day, I guess they actually used it. But the orange Angel's Flight sign makes for really cool framing of photos. You'll need to bring a really wide lens for this to look good or go kind of in the street when the crosswalk sign is on. That's what I did and you can get a pretty good photo. But if you have a really wide lens, it's gonna look awesome. The pop of orange is just really cool. There's a lot of tall buildings surrounding it. So it's a really like iconic downtown LA look to it. Next is the interior of the Broad Museum. The interior is way cooler than the exterior. If you thought the exterior was cool, the interior is way cooler. So they have art in there, obviously, which can make for pretty cool backdrops for photos. You can take any of the big art prints, put a subject in front of it, and you have this kind of cool background. They also have a lot of different sculptures that look cool and like oversized chairs and random stuff like that. There's the infinity room, which was closed the day that I went there. But if you make a reservation when you first get there, you can normally get in and you have two minutes to take a really cool photo in this infinity room that I'm sure you've seen on Instagram before. But then overall, the architecture inside of here is cool. And then there's a lot of natural light streaming in as well. So you're going to get good lighting on your photos. last location is the Bradbury building. This is a historic building in LA. If you go inside, it looks French. Like, it does not look like it belongs in the US. It's really cool. This you might recognize from the movie 500 Days of Summer. At the very end of that movie, they have like a job interview scene in there. They do have a sign up that says no professional photo shoots allowed, but the security guard totally saw me with like a big camera taking photos and didn't say anything. So you'll probably be fine. And you'll definitely be fine with an iPhone. People are always in there taking pictures. But these photos can look really cool. The lighting is just a little weird because all the lights like coming from the top, it's just way overexposed. So you'll need to underexpose your images. But this is a really cool location. The photos turned out awesome here. So you should definitely check it out. And this is like 
two blocks from Grand Central Market, so super close. So those are all the locations in downtown LA. Let me know what other videos you guys want coming up. Do you want more photography videos or do you want like lifestyle videos? Like let me know what you want and comment down below which location you thought was the best. But yeah, that is it for this video. Go watch my vlog channel now. Seriously, I've been uploading more on it and you guys, my vlogs are good. I would not tell you to go watch them if they're just boring regular vlogs. Like I've been editing them really cool and I talk about this new project I've been working on and I just think that they're like good so please watch them. But yeah, hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye!